Good morning. We just saw a movie called Leprechaun. What did you think of it? Honestly? Thank you for watching our video. Have a good day. I'm gonna try, so <laughs> we shouldn't have any more. Oh shit. <laughs> Crack open a couple of uh, Kill Kenny's, maybe a Guinness. He's that not really be failed. And work on your liver damage! Yeah! Liver damage! I'm fucking like 20 miles ahead of you. <laughs> you are. We just saw the movie Leprechaun. Um, uh, first of all, yeah, let's um, get our subjective opinions out of the way. Um, Andrew, you go first. What did you think of it? Well, honestly, <laughs> that was a really good... It's an old... Uh, it's an old classic 90s B-grade stupid movie starring a very, very young, very attractive... Hauser, she is, was attractive back in the 90s, Jennifer Aniston, before she hit it big with friends. And, like, Jennifer Aniston, like, she did as best as she could with, like, the writing and everything like that. But it's a it's a basic B-grade movie. So it does star a very young Jennifer Aniston, and this is her first ever major role of all movies. This is... It's funny because a lot of uh, actors and actresses had their uprising in B-grade horror. Jennifer Aniston in Leprechaun is no different. It's a bit of a shame because she doesn't really acknowledge Leprechaun as her um, as a big step into um, being an actress. And ever since um, Friends started and whatever, she kind of just forgot about the Leprechaun, which is a bit of a shame because Leprechaun is honestly, despite its shortcomings, it's not a scary movie. Like. Your grandma, your five-year-old kid can watch it and not get any nightmares. But that being said, that doesn't take away the fact that it's just, it's a fun movie to watch. Yeah, it's fun. It's it's stupid. It's entertaining. Mm -hmm. It's a fun, stupid, entertaining movie the whole family can watch. It had a simple plot. It had a simple duration. The gore effects were great. The performances were great, especially the guy who played the leprechaun, Warwick Davis, who was in... Um, he, he Star was, Wars? He was in Star Wars? He was in Star Wars. He was in the Harry Potter franchise. He was in, um... He was in, like, a lot of movies. Oh, yeah, um, he's always a tiny guy in movies. Like, he was yeah. in a movie with Thal Kimmler, directed by Ron Howard, but I can't remember the name of it. I think it was called, um... I have no idea. <laughs> I can't remember the name either. Yep, directed by Mark Jones. Jennifer Aniston is the daughter of, um... I forgot his name, but him... Actually, I really not this one, Dad. Oh, Dad. Well, let's call him Dad. <laughs> so, she's the daughter of Dad, and they relocate to a uh, farm farmhouse in, like, the middle of nowhere. It's an old, dank um, farmhouse where um, a very greedy, snobby man used to reside back in the day. He found a pot of gold, and thus spawning the wrath of the leprechaun. Wreaks havoc across the land of America. That was a bit too dramatic, <laughs> Mm. Yeah, so various cars she just choose. Yep. He's, he, he just keeps on killing and killing and killing until he gets his pot of gold. Mm. He needs all 100 coins, and the yep. idiot savant accidentally swallows one, which you know ensures more hygiene. Which you know, I mean, if you're gonna test a gold, you want to give it a bit of a nibble there, son. You don't want to go swallowing the whole thing whole. I mean, you don't want to get go be dig digging in the bog a couple of weeks later. Like, Later fishing around in there. Do you remember looking that? for the pot of gold, looking you... for that tiny little piece of gold in your shit. But also the fact that the leprechaun was chasing them for their gold is a bit of a dead giveaway. Like the quality doesn't really show at all. You'll notice some continuity errors. For example, when the leprechaun is attacking um, the characters, you notice that there's like a stunt double there, and he's like fucking a foot taller than Warwick Davis. Oh, it's like fucking they. They're like oh, looking for stunt doubles for Warwick Davis and they hire fucking, I don't know, the great Carly. Yeah. But Leprechaun is so invincible. Like, he is one of the strongest like horror movie villains I think I've ever seen. He's got teleportation, he's invincible, super strength. He can, um, um what's that? Telekinesis? Telekinesis? He's charismatic, I love him. I mean, fuck. I feel like what characters filmed the most was the Leprechaun. Oh, be um, he's very crafty. For example, he um, steals that little um, toy truck that he turns into like a um, a bulldozer of some kind, and he just rams like the characters and like their fucking mute. Uh, he's able to change his voice. Like he, he's like the uh, jack of all trades, but he does have his weak spots. 
for example, if you've got dirty shoes and you've got one of his bits of gold, he'll polish your shoe first and kill you. Yeah, he is obsessive about polishing the shoes. Yep. And, well, like, because there was a scene where, like, he completely ransacks the fucking, um, kitchen. And, but, like, all the shoes are, like, on top of his, um, on top of the, uh, fucking dining table. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was, like, so confused when I first saw that. Cause yes. Was, uh, yeah. I remember that. Nah, Apparently, lep shoes. leprechauns are very anal mm -hmm. about shoes. You figured leprechauns would have more things to worry about. I'm cutting that bit out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <That's> fair. <laughs> should have said that. Look, no, no, that, that, that was funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny, though. But, yeah, no, like, um, the leprechaun has its weird habits. Um, so it's not like a, um, a straightforward uh, horror movie villain like you got... Um, but, yeah, like, the typical mask, like, slasher villain. Yeah. Like, which was made pop in the back in the 80s. Yeah, in the, in the late 70s, too. Oh, yeah, in the late 70s, too. Um, and the leprechaun is different in that aspect because you got like a little fella just he wants his gold back. Uh, the, he is objectively the easiest horror movie villain to avoid because if you just give him his gold back, he will just leave you alone. Yeah, as long as you don't try to piss him off by stealing any of his coins, so just fuck off and let me. Yeah, and like in um, Leprechaun Three as well, um, it's not a spoiler, don't worry. And yeah, all... he he's like in Las Vegas. And the only person that actually interacts with him in a very friendly gesture, gesture, an Elvis Presley impersonator, he's like, "Hey man, you're looking great." And they're they're like getting off together, and the guy just walks one way, and the leprechaun's like, you know, walking another way. It's like the leprechaun just wants to hang out, wants to drink some Kilkenny's maybe. Uh, actually, here's a question for the viewers: What does the leprechaun prefer, Guinness or Kilkenny's? Uh, I like them both. They kind of taste the same. I should probably mix them together. Whiskey. Whiskey and dandelion tea. That's all. There we go. There you go. Answer that question. So leprechaun's like whiskey and dandelion tea. I've never had that before, but I'll give it a go in the future. No, I've never had dandelion tea. I've had plenty of whiskey. I can just have whiskey with the motherfucker. I've had a lot of tea in the past. Um, green tea with uh, lemon in it is the best. Very good to clear your uh, everything, you know. Whiskey. Uh, yeah. Because you need more excuses to do that. Yeah. I, I, I like, love you for the minute. I like whiskey, but... Uh, I'm, I'm going to be called a pussy here, but... I don't really drink straight spirits. I, I like beer. Oh, um, I like beer too. Yeah. But straight spirits, I can't do that. I can't do shots. I can, with, with the exception of Jack Daniels and Coke, like the manufactured bottles, yeah, I'll drink that. But yeah, in short, um, oh yeah, there's one little fun fact I want to say about this movie. So, Lucky Charms. They had the cereal box called Lucky Clovers that the leprechaun was like just eating out of. And you know, he's like, oh, yeah, fuck that shit, dude. And, and this was like supposed to be like a product that Lucky Charms um, gave permission for the film to use. But after seeing, seeing the final product, they were like, no, nah, you can't do this or whatever. So they changed the last lines of the movie, or one of the last lines, which was when um, the kid, Alex, with the slingshot and the four-leaf clover. Spoiler alert, I should add. Grabs the slingshot of a four-leaf clover. Is about to go like, yeah, and he's like, fuck you, lucky charms, to the leprechaun, and just fucking fucks his shit up, man. Oh, yeah. I reckon Leprechaun, if I give it a rating, it would be a pizza out of beef strong enough. If <laughs> I definitely had to give it a rating, I'd go for a 6 out of 10. Honestly, like, it was a good movie, but yeah, I mean, it's not going to win a lot of people over, especially people who don't like B-grade horror movies and stuff like that, or B-grade movies in particular. Like, there's a lot of big, good B-grade movies out there, but a lot of people who are like... Oh, I don't know, like, who are not into those particular kind of movies or that, it's not going to turn them over. But people who like big great movies, you should definitely check out Leprechaun and get and um, tell us your honest opinions about it, because honestly, it was pretty good. So happy St. Patrick's Day, me ladies! Happy St. Patrick's Day, me yeah. ladies! What the fuck was that scuttling? Did you fucking hear that shit? Oh, I have rats here. Yeah. St. Patrick's Day. Yep. Yeah.
Happy Lack Halloween. The... Oh, luck to the Irish, me sons. You fucking punt. Let's listen to some Dropkick Murphys, wanker.